So you're thinking about moving to the Boise area, more specifically Eagle, Emmett, or Star, but don't know if they're the right fit for you. Well, you're in luck. I'm Isaac Crace, a fourth generation Idahoan. I was born and raised in the Boise area, so I know it like the back of my hand. And today, I'm gonna to take you on a tour of Emmett, Eagle, and Star to see if the lifestyle that they can provide for you is going to be the best fit for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So why do people move to Eagle? Each person has their own different reason for wanting to move to Eagle, Idaho, but out of everybody that I've talked to, the one consistent thing is the lifestyle that Eagle can provide. Even though it's exploded in size, it still maintains that small town vibe while providing all the amenities that you could possibly ask for in a town. They've got high-end retail stores, grocery stores, golfing, wine tasting, Eagle Island, and so much more. For the most part, Eagle is going to have the majority of the upper end homes and the higher priced homes in the valley. The median home price in Eagle is around the $785,000 mark, while rental prices for an apartment are going to start around $1,500 and around $2,000 for a single family residence. There's a common theme that you find when you're driving around in subdivisions, neighborhoods in Eagle, and that is the ponds and the homes are built around the ponds. It's really cool. Whether it's Two Rivers or Legacy, you're gonna notice that the larger and upper end homes are gonna be even waterfront. The lakes and ponds in these neighborhoods are private and for residents only, so it creates a peaceful setting with less people around. Eagle High School is one of the best in the valley when it comes to academics. They largely outperforms the state average when it comes to graduation rate, SAT scores, and college readiness rate. They excel in English, math, and science.
going to take you guys on a quick detour and we're going to go to a town just north of the Treasure Valley. It's not actually part of the Treasure Valley. It is Emmett. The population is about 6,000, so it is a pretty small town. The thing that I like about Emmett is it's in its own little valley and it really does encapsulate that old time feel where you've got the old buildings during town. You can still get farm properties there. You can get bigger acreage properties. Homes are a lot less expensive in Emmett than the rest of the entire valley. Around Star and Emmett, we have a lot of BLM land, Bureau of Land Management land that is. And people like to go out there for the purpose that you can just go walk your dogs out there, you can ride your bikes, you can hike, but you can shoot your guns out at BLM. So people like to go out there, target practice, keep their marksmanship skills sharpened. If you'd like to know more information about what you can and can't do with guns, I've actually done a video about that. So you can check out that link. It is moving to Boise, Idaho with guns. It's a great video. I highly recommend you check that out if you are coming to Idaho and you are pro second amendment. Emmett is famous for their cherry festival. They have a festival in the summer every single year just to celebrate the cherry harvest. Another thing that Emmett is famous for is the classic cars. There is a huge classic car community in Emmett and they have car shows all throughout the summer. They have the show and shine, the Emmett cruise night where everybody just gets in their old cars and they cruise through downtown Emmett. It's super cool to go see. So if you are a fan of old cars and that kind of stuff, definitely go check out a car show at least once in Emmett. Speaking of cars, Emmett actually has a horse track and inside the horse track a couple of years ago they started a dirt cart racetrack as well and uh, almost every weekend in the summer they have the dirt cart races my son he actually loves those kind of races and he races there himself so you can find us in Emmett very frequently So as we're heading west, we're gonna to go to the famous Star Idaho. Star now is what Eagle was 10 years ago and Star is quite a bit smaller compared to the other cities or towns in the area with a population of roughly 13 and a half thousand people. Very similarly to Eagle, Star has actually exploded in size. We used to call it Star, the new Eagle. And that is because you can still have similar lifestyle what you find in Eagle, but for a lot less money and you find a lot less people. Only about 14,000 people versus 33,000. And the prices are about $200,000 less. Well, that's a big difference. We've reached out to some of our friends who live in Star as we don't live in Star to see what specifically they like about the area as a resident or a local. And the thing that all of them said, 100% top of their list is the people that live in Star. Super friendly, super welcoming, and it just has that tight-knit community feel. Hope you found this video helpful be sure to stay tuned for our next video in this series where we're going to explore middleton caldwell and nampa until then i'm isaac Crace with top idaho real estate your third generation idaho realtor